This is the plaintiff, Stephen Sabala. He says the defendant was in some kind of mad rush and drove his car right into the rear of his 2012 Hyundai Elantra. He hasn't been in an accident in over 30 years and foolishly didn't call the cops. Now the defendant just hangs up on him when he calls. He needs to get his car fixed and is suing for the $2,013.84 it's going to cost him to do it. This is the defendant, Amon Bola. He says he was going two miles an hour and mistakenly tapped the plaintiff's car. He didn't cause a bit of damage. The plaintiff had prior damage to his vehicle and now is trying to sue him for it and get a windfall. He's accused of banging a guy in the rear. All parties, please raise your right hands. Welcome back to the People's Court. Next case in the docket, the plaintiff says the defendant drove his car into his Hyundai, but the defendant says it was a tap. It's the case of it's no big deal, hun. Thank you, Douglas. Okay, Stephen Sabala, you are suing Aman Bola for $2,013.84. The estimate that you have received to repair your car after, according to you, he rear-ended you. Um, tell me how that happened. Okay, we were on the uh, Southern State Parkway, and it was uh, stop-and-go traffic. And I stopped. He didn't evidently hit me in the rear. Okay, uh, so we weren't at a pretty, going that at a pretty fast. Sl um, sl low speed. Low, low speed. Right. Maybe uh, 15 miles an hour. I don't really know how fast he was going. Okay. But he has a 2014 Chevy Suburban. Oh, okay. okay. And you drove a? A uh, Hyundai Elantra. What year? Uh, 2012. All right. So he hits you, and what happens at that moment? We pull over to the side. He asked me how I was doing. I said, fine. Uh, he gave me his license, registration, insurance. He says, listen, I got to go to work. I can't stay around. Gave it to me and left. Okay. Okay. Um, I didn't call the police. I proceeded. Because why? Because you don't watch people's court? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that, that was your first I mean, mistake. That was my first mistake. Yes, okay, it was. because then you'd know that I don't care that you have to go to work. You have to stick around and I'm going to call the police. Right. And the only way you don't let somebody do that is you videotape them and confessing and admitting that it's their fault because otherwise people change their minds later. Right. Right. And then they tell their insurance companies whatever they want and then they do whatever they want. Okay, and I'm not... I don't know, I haven't heard your side yet. I'm just saying that's what happens, and look at you. Go ahead. Later on, I contact him. He said I would like to pay without going through the insurance. Okay. So You get we an estimate, you call him, you tell him what the estimate is, and now right. he doesn't like it. Now he doesn't like it. Right, because he thought it was going to be a couple hundred bucks, and it's 1,700 bucks. Right. Because basically, if you look sideways at a car, it costs money. You right. know, That's how body work is. It's always 10 times more than you thought it should cost. You know, it's not like heart surgery. It's body work, but it's surprisingly incredibly expensive. Anybody think I have to pay for body work right now and that's why I'm kind of wigging out? Because I do. All right. So now you tell him, he tells you what? I'm not, that's too much. You're, you. That's too much. Uh, we'll go call the insurance company. Okay. So you call the insurance I company. I call his insurance company and they try to contact Mr. Aman and they keep telling me he's not calling. He's not saying he was involved in an accident. We need, you know. We need verification. Right. You're, uh, it, it, was your insurance company calling you and you weren't calling them back? No. They called me and all I said it was that this accident did happen, but the amount of uh, damage he's claiming is totally not near it. The damage... How do you know? Why? Because I know I rear-ended him with that slow speed, which I claim to be no more than two, three miles per hour. And uh, two or three miles per hour is barely moving. It's barely moving. That's exactly what it was. If it was 15, this is not considered stop and go. We could put this to a test. 15 miles per hour, we have decent enough gap to press the brake and stop it. And I had a real left shoulder where uh, there was grass I could have gone I'm on. I'm sorry, it. you hit him or you didn't hit him? I did hit him. So what's but your defense? My offense is that the damage he's claiming, it's not me. I didn't do that. What I did when I hit, it probably scratched because it was my license plate probably just touch it. But what he's claiming is there's a dent, a whole bumper messed out, and Can I he see has to pictures of the damage. Yes. It's you got a you got a picture. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Let's okay. see both of you. Show me pictures of the damage. Let Just me let me know when you get it up. You got it? Uh, I have my car. I'm sorry. When you're standing there and you're looking at the damage. Yes. Did you say I didn't do that damage? You must have had prior. Are you saying he had prior damage? Yes. So the defendant said, well, there must have been prior damage. Is that a defense when he admits hitting the car? They always say there's prior damage. No defense. No. 
What do you think? No, he, ha he has to be liable and accountable for his actions. So that's not a good defense. But he's saying, I couldn't have caused this damage. It's impossible. He's just completely out of luck. There's got to be some kind of proof. And the proof is he admits hitting the car. There you go, going inside the car room. Did you ever look at the back of his car before you hit the back of his car to know that Phil, the back of his car was damaged? It's not that attractive. I wouldn't look at the back of the car. Of course yeah. not. Yeah. So you are guessing that based on your accident reconstruction skills of how fast you hit him? Well, it was such a minor hit that there's no way possible that entire bumper could have cracked Do you think you're going to win this case based on you saying that? Are you crazy? It's not about me winning or losing. It's about what he's going no, wrong against. No, it is, because you are nuts. Opinion. You pay insurance premiums so that the insurance company fights this battle. You're right. The adjuster for your insurance company said it was $1,700 worth of damages. And then you tell the insurance company, oh, you had prior damage. So they're like, whoa, home free. They don't have to pay a penny. Uh, Guess who's going to end up now with a bill? All right. Not now, another thing. <laughs> He's, oh he has literally <laughs> changed this amount about three times, Judge. Whose car is this? This is my car. This car. What do I care about your car? I'm looking no, at No, this is right there. If you slide the picture to the left, okay. you'll see more. It's I see a lion. Is. The worst part about being strong is that no one ever asks if you're okay. That's so true. <laughs> but now can I see a picture of his car? Okay, the silver car is his car? No, it's a blue one. Blue, blue color. Okay, well, I'm looking at a cracked bumper. Yeah. I'm looking at a dented hood. Not hood, what is this? Trunk? Trunk? A dented. Okay. Yeah, I'm looking at it right there. Okay. What are you talking about? It's right there. You're, in your picture, yes, it, these are the things I see. So right. who are you to say that's not 17... Hundred dollars. What did you get? Like a second estimate that was higher. That's a two thousand. Well, I got an es I got an estimate from his insurance company sent an adjuster down, which was seventeen fifty. Which was seventeen and change, and then uh, a collision guy gave me uh, an estimate. Right. Okay. Yeah. Same pictures. Actually, his pictures are better than yours. But they, there's a full crack in the bumper. What, where do you, honest to God, we're here because you've decided that you, in your infinite wisdom, you know how much the body work should cost? Yes, because there's no way possible that this damage could be this much. I could get the same damage. He, if he claims his prior damage plus the damage that I did to his car. What I prior could get damage? Fixed. What evidence do you I have, have that he had prior damage? Okay, I don't have an evidence. Did you have prior damage? No. Okay, what evidence? Show me a police report from a prior accident. Show me I, anything. I don't know what happened to this Well, then you're just much. making this up out of whole cloth. What the heck All is right. wrong with you? Nothing wrong. And I'm just saying. And then on top of that, you tell your insurance company not to pay. They can't wait not to pay. <laughs> so now you're standing here holding the bag yourself. Yes. Who cuts his nose off to spite his face like that? His estimate. After you've paid all those premiums. His estimate changed about three times. First he came with 1300 Let me just ask you, how old are you? 21. All right. Now I want you to listen to me. Sure. How much do you pay in insurance per month? Per month, a lot. How much? <laughs> it's going to be $500 because it's a, ta a taxi. You have three taxis and 500 per car. So maybe that's why he fights it so hard because you have a commercial license? I have a TLC taxi license. Okay. I've so any uh, payout by your insurance company will raise your insurance rates on all of them. So maybe that's why he keeps saying this. All right. Inconceivable to me. So you got any proof of anything you're saying or are you just... It, what kind of proof? Them? I don't know. What kind of proof? Yeah, th there's nothing. So you there. have no proof. I'm so just saying that there rule? wasn't a big hit as so this, how there was you, a how do you think I'm going to rule? Okay. You're the judge. I exactly. <laughs> I find in favor of the plaintiff. If you can get it done for 1715, get it done for 1715. Well, I find in favor of the plaintiff in the amount of Your one, Honor. Uh, yeah, that, that's enough for covering that damage. $1,715. That's my judgment. So the defendant, what, 21 years old? Yes. Right? So grasshopper. Yeah. Did you learn anything here? Learn something. Not really. That no? You could, you could win anything you want, even if you... I hit the car. The way you handled the insurance company. You, right. You told them not to pay. I didn't... You have no expert here to yeah, back I, up your claims. You have nothing. It's okay. If he needs to get this car fixed and claim that his damage was much larger mm -hmm. than what I did to him, go ahead. Go get it done. So you haven't learned anything? Not really. All right. Sure. All right, you head right down around... The, the corner this way. And let's see what the plaintiff has to say. Uh, satisfied how this comes out? Uh, yes, uh, yes, I'm very satisfied. It's mm -hmm. next time I wouldn't be as nice and get a police report. And he said you uh, you had uh, prior damage there. Why? No way. It, you get hit in the rear a lot? No, I don't get hit in the rear a lot. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. All right. Harvey. All right. Okay, I'm going to give you a tip, and you just got to remember this. If you ever get in an accident, because it happens to everybody at some point, if you get in an accident, take 
pictures of the cars and the damage before you move them. It's really, really important. It'll help the judge figure out who did what.